cash I trust. I don't think cash is too good even when it's probably shouldn't trust them that much. So I try to come up here in front of the saddle. So I can kind of block this horse from going forward, block that shoulder. I'm going to turn this stirrup. And, sir? Yeah, turn the stirrup. Put that foot in there. I'm going to come right here. I'm not going to put a lot of weight on that left foot. Come here and I'm just going to grab a chunk of man, the big boy. Easy. Glad to do that saddle. Just smooth. Excuse that thing on. Good. See right there, he just wants to walk forward. I'm going to let him, right? He wants to walk forward and do it back. But I'm going to really take some time when I get in the saddle. Just to let this work relax. Like this should be enjoyable, right? This is, a, this is really important to take this time to let these horses sit. There's Callie and Charlotte over there. Everyone say hi. Everyone say hi, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Charlotte will maybe be doing this here in about 30 years. I'll be my dad's age. Just at home. I'm going to go see if I can kind of get this horse moving first without the help. And he wants to kind of hump up a little bit, so I, I, I just want to go slow and relax. Relax myself. If I relax, he's going to relax. I'm always done, for the most part. Um, a lot of inside my pressure right here. I do like the arena setting for this. Um, I don't think it's for everybody, but I, I can really let this horse uh, move out. Right? He's, he's more curious, he's less defined, and it, it's red. I'm real big on teaching these horses to free up. Go down the trail, what we do? Third round, I mean, for the most part. They are. Going out on the trail. Best thing I can do in this situation with that is just let him go forward, not not get out there too much for that. Right. Just keep going forward. Not make a big deal about it. I'll follow you now. I'm having to do a lot of picking, and I just don't want, I don't want to do that. I want to have this horse, I want this to be easy on him. And I always say I try to change your mind before it happens, you know. I feel this horse get cut. You know, I, I know he's going to fly. So when he does that, he's going to bump that inside the ring. Change the nose. Crank, crank, crank. He's like, I'm going to get tight. He's like, no, you're not. And he's like, well, what was I going to do? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get tight. And I said, it's fine. No, you're not. And he's going to get tight. And he's going to get tight. What was going to happen? Yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. Funny. Right. I'm
again, at least ran through his head. I really post him with him, just a group with him here. Help him out, go forward, and relax. I'm 
understand what the polls get. Everything I've taught this course right here has been this, right? Coming here. This is a direct rain pole. So imagine that I'm you know, on the horse's back. This is about where my hand position is going to be. So I'm training him right here on the ground for that same pole I'm about to have in the saddle. Now, if I'm pulling here, he doesn't understand it. This is, you know, I'm flexing him, I'm talking about flex step, I'm backing him, I'm backing him, he gives him what I'm 